Okay, now let's talk about Emilio, Johnny. I went with him to go pick up the ring. The first time you got married, I wasn't taken into consideration at all. I, I was actually excluded. Her phone, her iPod, anything that's like really personal to my mom, I hold like really close. Hey guys, welcome to part two of my conversation with my baby brother, Johnny. If you haven't listened to part one yet, I suggest you do that before listening to this episode. Anyways, we're going to be hearing more from my brother and we'll even have a short Q&A where we'll ask him questions like who he texts most and whether he reads fan comments or not. Stay tuned for all of that and more. This is Cheekies and Chill. Okay, now let's talk about Emilio, Johnny, because, you you know, Dr. Black, that's what you call him. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he lives here him. with us now. And yeah, I love that you guys love each other. Thank God. Thank God, you guys. Yeah. Honestly, you have no idea how much peace my heart feels. And they text each other so much. And like, they tell each other that they love each other. And it's just like, it's really nice. They have a really nice bond when I'm gone. They go to Korean barbecue together. So how, how do you feel? Are you excited or are you more nervous about me getting married? No, I'm excited. I'm excited. I've honestly, like, I felt peace from the moment he asked me to, to marry you. Yeah. Honestly. Like, I just, oh, he asked Johnny. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. He, um, he took me to Korean barbecue and he ended up asking me. I didn't expect that. I really didn't expect it at all. And I so think, cute. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I should have expected it because he gave me, like, a lot of, indications he was like that kind of person mm -hmm. i guess i just you know when you don't put expectations on people because you don't want to get disappointed because the first time you got married i wasn't taken into consideration at all i, I was know. actually excluded yeah i know i know and and that that was that sh that was a red flag for me and one that i unfortunately ignored but for me it was a red flag it's like okay wait you know how important my siblings are and I never really told Emilio what I wanted and what I expected if he ever asked. It's just, he just knew. And that's how I was like, oh shit. Like, I didn't know until after. I'm like, wait, you took Johnny to eat and you asked every one of my siblings, at, like, you told them separately? I'm like, dude, that's awesome. I was like, that is, I was like, whoa. I actually went, to, I went with him to go pick up the ring too. I know. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. Oh, it makes me so happy. Honestly, I have so much peace when it comes to that. I'm like, okay, they like each other. We live together. It's like, we vibe out. I think we're in a really good place. Thank, thank the Lord. Yes or no? Yeah. 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 I really, I really think so. I think this, our home is like very like peaceful. I'm very happy when it's like just us here. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And I get, now, I get, I get excited to come home and shit too. Like, it's just nice. I know we have our, our little family. Where did you get that name or that nickname? Dr. Black. How did, how did that start? Oh, I don't know where the doctor came from. It just happened, but it's because Ryu, he's, he's, oh, you know, he he's black. Him, he, he calls him him black because he's, he's, uh, his, our, our dog Ryu, you guys, Prince Ryu on Instagram. You guys can follow him. <laughs> he's black. So, so Emilio calls him black. So then you guys, okay, I get it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> like, Wait, is there something to, I don't know? It has to do with him being his, being his dad. Oh, okay. Dr. Him black. Him being okay. Ryu's dad. <laughs> I love it. That wasn't too bad, right, John? No, no, I'm good. Okay, good. So let's shift gears. All right, I want people um, to get to know you, so let's play a little game, all right? It's a short little Q&A. You ready? All right. <laughs> all right. All right, how big is your... No, I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, what shoe size do you wear, Johnny? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, here we go. Um, what's your zodiac sign, John? I'm an Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius sign. And, and what's your rising? I'm a Scorpio rising. And I'm a Libra moon. Yeah. Funny, funny enough, me and my me and my sister have the same rising and moon. She's a Scorpio rising and a Libra moon as well. Yes. Let's see. Johnny knows all about astrology, guys. Um, okay. Which sibling are you closest to? Mm, I'm all close. It changes, close to, huh? Yeah, I'm close. I'm close to all you guys in different ways. I don't know. Like I've had seasons where it's just been me and Jenica sometimes. Uh huh. And there's other times like where you know me and Mike are like. Just super close virus. yeah it's just honestly like that's the really cool thing about having you know four siblings is uh you don't expect the different kinds of combinations you know what i mean yeah for example if it's just like me you and jen it's a different kind of thing and then if it's me you and mikey 
or me, Mikey, uh-huh. and Jen. Like, it's just fun. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, that's that's true. Because, yeah, if, if I were to ask myself that question, I'm like, it's different. I'm close to you guys in different ways. Like, J- Jackie will call me and she's me me about something. And then Mikey, it's Mikey just called me actually right now. Uh, but anyways, okay. How many instruments do you play, John? I think I just play the piano. I know a little bit how to play gu- the guitar because I actually got a guitar. And I was starting to get it, but I didn't keep up with it. And I mm-hmm. think I figured out that the piano is definitely my instrument. And now that I know music theory, like, I went to Jenica's house and I have, like, basic knowledge on like you know how to place my fingers and stuff like that but to like mm-hmm. play it play it like it's not necessarily easy for me but piano is my thing yeah and you have those long ass fingers and and fun fact you guys when johnny came to me and told me that he wanted to possibly like to sing and stuff like that i was like okay that's fine but i need you to be better than i am i just jumped into it you know i knew the fundamentals but I didn't go to school for music. I never learned an instrument. And I was like, I need you to write music. I want you to go to school for it. Like, I want you to really be engrossed in this. And I, even, that's when I told him, I said, and you also work on your physique. Like, I want you to feel good. I don't want people to be mean to you. Like, the whole thing. And I think it, you've, done, you've been wonderful with it. You learned the Not piano. Even. You're so fucking smart when it comes Not to yeah. all that stuff. It's, it's one of the best things, too. Like, physical body. Like, mm-hmm. I think mom did this, too. I think singing on the treadmill or yes. like just abs and stuff like that it helps you so much so much with your diaphragm it's like it's all connected do you have a hidden talent a hidden talent um i can solve a rubik's cube in like a minute and a half maybe two minutes oh that's right yeah i don't even know where to start with that thing i, li- I literally i i was with mom in i think guadalacara mm-hmm. and she was asleep in the hotel room and i saw a youtube video on how to solve it and i memorized it and i've never had to look back at that video ever since that's crazy oh yeah. my god i was 10 <laughs> your freaking memory is just like mom's okay so do you have a prized possession mm, actually i think i have a couple i'm actually at something i've been trying to like work on especially if ever since we moved to this house because I've been telling mm-hmm. myself I'm going to slowly like learn to become a minimalist. I feel like I'm actually attached to objects a little bit too much. And I'm trying to work on releasing that because it can, it can become a bad thing at a certain point. You know what I mean? Something mom taught us for sure. More than anything, it's just like her belongings, stuff like I have her bag of the last stuff that she used, her hairbrush from her, oh, from yeah. her bathroom and everything, the, the shampoo bottles, all that stuff. Stuff mm-hmm. like that, her phone, her iPod, anything that's like really personal to my mom, I hold like really close. Even the the Louis Vuitton bag I always use. I know, mom's mm-hmm. Louis Vuitton bag. Yeah. Johnny's like my mom's biggest fan and I, I love it. You know every song. He's the Jenny Rivera, excite, what we call it, excite, how do you say that word? encyclopedia thank you so much johnny i appreciate that that word Ooh, what's your favorite restaurant um right now ooh. <sighs> honestly like if i'm gonna like sit down and eat it'll probably be like fogo de chow or javier's right now uh-huh but like fast food it's always raising canes raising canes bomb what's your favorite movie um right now it's the last spider-man movie that came out Spider-Man yeah. Across the Spider-Verse. That shit made me cry. I need, I need to go watch it. It's such a fucking good movie, dude. It's uh, so good. The art style, everything. Um, okay, what's the best advice you've ever gotten? Hmm. <laughs> you, actually, I think. Yeah? It's a, that there's no worse quality to have than laziness. <laughs> I always say, Johnny... There, yeah, that's so true. Oh, my God. I would tell him all the time. There's nothing uh, worse than a lazy man. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Um, what's your favorite quality in a friend? Ooh, this is a good one. Mm, I like, even though, like, um, I'm not necessarily one to back down. Like, I'll, like, put up a fight or, any, or, or something a little bit. Like, mm. I like when a friend will challenge me will challenge my beliefs or like make me back up what mm-hmm. i'm saying a friend that simulates your mind and does not just yeah be friend. Mm-hmm. there you go exactly I, love that. I like when my friends challenge me because it shows that like they want me to grow and they're also 
just not necessarily around me for superficial reasons. Because a lot of, if people are around you for superficial reasons, they don't necessarily want to have those kinds of conversations. Mm -hmm. The uncomfortable ones. They're just like, uh, te dan por tu lado siempre. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one, guys. Yes. We've got to learn from that. Okay. So which social media platform do you use most? Um, right now TikTok because I've been just only going on Twitter and Instagram breaks. Mm -hmm. I don't really use Facebook at all. Yeah. I used to use it more in my teens, but I just I have the app in case of anything because everything's just tied to Facebook, like Instagram and and mm -hmm. certain things that you sign in with. But I've just been on TikTok. I I can't delete TikTok because my old phone number is attached to it because they want me to confirm my old phone number before changing it to my current phone number. It makes no sense. I love your TikToks, by the way. Your TikToks are so funny. I rarely do them. Like, I'm not even trying. But the it's thing just, is, like, it's just quality. Around. Quality over quantity, which I like. It's like, it's some solid shit up there. I like it. I, I, I really do. And I'm not just saying that. They're, they're freaking funny. <laughs> you're pretty good at them, too. <laughs> and it took you a long time. You're like, I don't want to do TikTok. And then you got it. And you're like, dude, you're so good at it. Okay. So do you read fan comments? Um, yeah, I do. I, I take a good amount of time just because I feel like that's something I had to learn from mom. There's certain things like I feel like mm, that I learned from mom that like are just essential to like just having fame. You know what I mean? And I, I really yeah. think part of that is just being interactive with your friends or reading their comments. Like not I, that's something I think we've all had to fucking learn is just to not focus on negative comments yeah. and really take time to focus on the beautiful shit that people say to us because there's really beautiful things that people type. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I know, and it, it takes getting used to or really training your mind to say, okay, wait, I'm going to ignore this one comment and focus on the 10 beautiful loving comments that we receive. So I get that. Yeah. But that's nice that you do have that contacto directo with fans. Ooh, this is a good one. What was your first job? My first job? <laughs> mm, I think like, uh, the first thing like the mom had me like really really doing for a good like like good amount of time was uh taking polaroids and selling them and she would let me keep the money like that was that was her teaching me to work i remember that one I, I thought it was the um playing the what is it called on stage the weedo yeah oh the yeah well, she did well she did pay me she paid me i she paid me a lot of fucking money just for standing up there and playing the weedo <laughs> but yeah like yeah, that was that was technically like I guess you could say like the first job first, I had. First, first, first. But then I I did I did the Polaroids at mom's concerts, and then I worked in the warehouse when I was thirteen. Oh, that's at, right. For JR Fashion, and then yeah. then we did reality for a bit, so I didn't necessarily yeah. have to work. But but it was work. Reality's it's a lot of work. It was guys, actually actually yeah. it's a lot of work. Yeah, you're right. I'm thinking about it. I'm like we would have to get up sometimes when we didn't want to, dude, was, and like yeah. You had no choice, even if you weren't having a bad day. There were certain people you didn't want to see and shit. Like, it's a whole, like, co-worker setting. Yeah. <laughs> it was reality, but some things, you know, you just couldn't be real about on, on camera, especially during some years. So that's a, you know, whole other conversation, too. Um, okay. Who do you text the most? <laughs> hmm. Who do I text the most? Ale? Your best friend? I think uh, yeah, I think I text my one, my best friend the most to be honest. I love, yeah, I love him. I and then cool. our 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 sibling group chat too. Oh yeah, we call it La yeah. Plevada. That's our group chat, you guys. Our sibling group chat. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey made it that one Mikey day. He comes it. up. It's funny. It's funny because I feel like me, like I act like se me sale lo mexicano más más fácil, but then yeah. he'll do like little stupid shit like that. That just like is awesome. All right. What's your best quality? Mm, my best quality? I think I'm pretty observant. I think I'm pretty observant. Mm -hmm. I, I do my best to be empathetic. Like you said, I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty honest, but honest to a fault sometimes. Yeah, but you I, that is a great trait and quality to have, the honesty. And you're very observant, very smart. You see everything. No se te pasa ni una. Even when I feel like you're not listening or looking, you are. I'm like, dude, this little fucker. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> last question. And you don't have to answer it if you don't want to. Are you single, Johnny? I'm not. I'm not, actually. Dang! Mic drop, boom. I didn't think he was going to answer it, you guys. 
<laughs> he is not single. And we're going to leave it at that. Um, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cheekies and Chill. I definitely did. Um, it wasn't too bad. And see, you know, look at this. Now you can come downstairs and give me a hug. <laughs> oh, share, share your social media if you want, please, so that people can follow okay. you and keep up with Johnny. On Instagram and Twitter, when they're not deactivated, I'm on there as The Great Cinco. And TikTok as well. Oh, and TikTok. Okay, The Great Cinco. Okay. No wonder. Did you deactivate your Instagram? Yes, I deactivated Twitter and Instagram. I take okay. regular breaks for my sanity. There's your answer, my uh, producer, Brianna. Uh, he he deactivated it because she was trying to find you again. She was trying to do her research, so she didn't find it. So he he goes on and off social media. But you guys, it is The Great Cinco. And um, as you know, I always like to end my episodes with some, you know, words of encouragement with the motivational quote of the week. And our motivational quote of the week is, let's see. Oh, I think this is very cute, guys. Okay. The greatest gift our parents ever gave us was each other. Oh, or just one more. <laughs> <laughs> just one more. I may not be able to solve... This for you, okay? I may not be able to solve all your problems, but I promise you, you won't have to face them alone. Okay, John? Aw, I love you, dude. I love you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this very beautiful and corny episode of Cheekies and Chill. <laughs> I love you guys, and I'll see you and catch you on the next one. Don't miss it. Every Monday, Cheekies and Chill, and on Wednesdays, Dear Cheekies. All right, guys? I love you so much, and I love you, puppy. Thank you so much for being on. Do you need advice on love, relationships, health, imas? I'm so excited to share with you that my Cheekies and Chill podcast will have an extra episode drop each week. I'll be answering all your questions. Just leave me a voice message con todas tus preguntas y yo te las voy a contestar personalmente. All you have to do is go to speakpipe.com slash Cheekies and Chill podcast and record your questions. I can't wait to hear from you. This is a production of iHeartRadio and the My Cultura Podcast Network. Follow us on Instagram at My Cultura Podcast and follow me, Chiquis, that's C-H-I-Q-U-I-S. For more podcasts from iHeart, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast and check us out on YouTube. 